Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast. I am Becky and I can be found as Becky Burns Gibson on Pinterest, Instagram, and Ravelry. So today I'd just like to talk about what's been going on this week. Um, I have been cutting out the uh, Butter 6483 pattern by Gertie. And this is also known as Simplicity 9292. Gertie has uh, this pattern under two brands. And it's a wonderful uh, pattern. I'm, I'm doing View B with the pencil skirt. And um, I am grading out the bust, the largest size on Gertie's pattern. Uh, for the bust is 44 inches and the largest size for the waist is 37 inches. So I have graded out to 48 inches in the bust and 46 inches in the waist. And I am using the pivot and slide method that, is, that was taught by Nancy Zeman to grade out. And what I have learned is that uh, the right fabric shears can make all the difference when you're cutting out fabric. So uh, I always used cheap fabric shears and uh, I didn't like cutting out with them. And I always used a rotary cutter. So uh, this week I decided to uh, bring out my ginger shears, which were a new pair of shears that I purchased that are spring actioned. So, uh, you know, you have to do this, uh, you have to exert this force on the scissors, but not this force because the spring automatically opens the scissors back up for you. And they're so sharp and they've made such a difference uh, when I was cutting out this fabric. And this fabric, uh, it frays quite a bit. It is a, a beautiful satin fabric by Yaya Han. So I'm looking forward to getting this uh, finished. I'm waiting on a shipment from um, Vogue Fabrics for some Benberg lining to go on the inside of this uh, of this dress. So um, I've also been working on the uh, Necessary Clutch Wallet. You may uh, be familiar already with the Necessary Clutch Wallet by Emmeline Bags. It's very popular on um, the internet. So I have uh, I have finished the exterior of the bag and when it, is, when it is complete it will look something like this. See it will have that pretty fox on the front with the gunmetal uh, twist turn clasp here and the bear on the back. And I have uh, also completed the uh, card slot section of the wallet. So today I hope to complete the zipper section of the wallet and then hopefully I can get that assembled and start using it. Um, another uh, project that I've got in the pipe uh, I purchased this pattern. It's a fall pattern um, by Lavender Lime. They already have the fall fabrics out in the fabric stores. And I purchased this at um, the Dancing Bobbin in Spring Hill. And I purchased this uh, Fat Quarter Bundle. has beautiful... Uh, fall designs with uh, pumpkins and I purchased this panel to go in the middle uh, as the uh, pattern suggests 
It's just a wonderful pattern. And I think that I'm going to drape this over the back of my couch as an autumn uh, decoration. And there is a border print at the bottom of this panel as well. I have purchased the batting and the backing for my uh, uh, hourglass quilt that I want to give to my next door neighbor. And um, I am also making a tutorial as I go. So that is up and coming. And I have been binge watching the Taylor and the Dressmaker on YouTube. I've already watched their videos at least 10 times a piece, but I have been binge watching on that as I've been uh, working on cutting out my patterns. Uh, something that I've learned from their watching their channel, and they are James McFarlane and Victoria Baylor. And something I have learned from watching uh, their podcast is... Uh, you should, you should do something every day regarding your craft because uh, athletes such as basketball players, they don't just show up at a game, have a wonderful game, and then sleep in the next day. They're up shooting baskets again the next day, practicing. And that's the way you should do with your craft as well. Uh, they uh, recommend sewing some every day to uh, keep up your skills, and improve your skills. So that's something that I'm trying to put in practice as well in my life. Well, I guess that's uh, all that I have to uh, talk about today. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.